Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how you can publish your own assets to the Unity Asset Store. And so the reason I wanted to make this video is because I recently just went through the process of actually publishing an asset to the Asset Store. Um, it did get published, so it is this uh, 2D camera screen box visualizer. And you can also check out the video that I recently made and it goes over some of the main features of this tool that I created. But anyways, because I recently got this published to the Asset Store, I figured uh, while it's all fresh in my mind, now would be a good time to let you all know how you can get your own assets on the Asset Store um, and kind of what you can expect from the process and some things that you really wanna make sure that you do, which can make the difference between getting your asset on the Asset Store and getting rejected. Uh, because I actually did try to submit this asset twice. The first time around it did get rejected and uh, the second time around it did get accepted because I did make some changes. Um, so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about that today. And so basically if I just had one quick recommendation for you, it would be to take your time on all of this. Um, so just make sure that you're, you're taking your time to make some good graphics, make sure you have good and clear information for anyone who wants to download your, your assets that they can just import those and use those in their project as soon as possible. And you could even go the extra mile and actually create a video just kind of going over some of the features and or how to set it up in your game. Um, I think that's definitely something that will really help improve your chances of getting your asset on the Asset Store. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over to AssetStore.Unity.com. Of course, all the links that are going to be mentioned in this video are going to be down in the description right below the like and subscribe buttons. So anyways, just from anywhere on the Asset Store, you're going to click this little link that says Sell Assets. And it's going to bring you to this page here, which just kind of details the main steps of how to publish something to the asset store. And so I'm going to be going over that and giving you some tips along the way. So of course, you're going to want to have a Unity account, which you should probably already have if you um, are downloading and using Unity. Um, if not, you can just click the link to go ahead and create one there. Um, of course, you're going to want to read through all the uh, agreements that it's going to make you accept. And then here it wants you to look at the submission guidelines. I can just open that in a new tab now because the submission guidelines are very important, but I will be talking about those a little bit later on in the video. So make sure you stay tuned for those. So anyways, once you have your asset store account, you're going to need to register as an asset store publisher. Um, so you can just go ahead and click the link here and it'll bring you to a page that looks kind of similar to this one. Um, as you can see, I've already completed everything for my publisher profile and it just basically wants some basic information. Um, you know, what's your publisher name, what's your website um, and some customer support links and all that. And then down here you can put in some promotional media. So for me, I just have this static image, but you can also put a, a video and this is what's going to be displayed on your publisher homepage. Um, and then here you can also have a headline, a promotional paragraph, as well as uh, some links to your social media accounts so fill all that out as you please so again just with these things make sure you take your time and make sure it looks professional make sure your you know images and anything uh, meets the resolution requirements and all that then once you have that all set you can uh, actually hit the save and preview button and so it'll save it it'll say your information has been updated and it will bring you over to your actual publisher page um, and you can just go ahead and make sure everything looks nicely here. As you can see, there's the promotional image here. Here's kind of like your headline, your description. Uh, here's website and support links as well as social media links. So then once you have all your publisher information all set, you can go over to this packages tab and here's where we can create new packages. As you can see, the published package I have, of course, is the 2D camera screen box visualizer. However, because you're gonna be creating a new package, you can just go ahead and click the link that says create new package. And then here it's gonna load up a page where you can put in some details about your whole asset package. Um, of course, if you have any version information and version changes, you could put that here. But if it's the first release, you know, you're probably going to do a version 1.0 and say first release. Of course, you're going to want to select a category that's appropriate for your particular asset. And here you can set whether you want your asset to be a paid asset or a free asset. And you can choose the price about what you'd like. Down here in the metadata and artwork section, um, you can just go ahead and click on metadata, click on the edit here. And then here's where you actually put the title of your asset package and here's where you put your full description package. And it should be noted that this description uses HTML formatting. So if you want to do any line breaks or any links or anything like that, that's all going to be in here. And then also down in the bottom, you can put some keywords 
just to help people find your asset a little bit easier. The next thing is key images, and this is really important. So key images for me, this was the difference between um, not getting my asset published and actually getting my asset published. And if you go over into the submission guidelines, they have this whole section 2.4 on key images. Um, just make sure you give that a good read through. Um, basically, they just wanna make sure that you have real professional images. Of course, they're all uh, meeting the resolutions that are displayed right here and they don't want any like raw unedited images that just clearly came from the unity editor the first time i submitted my tool to the asset store it got rejected because the images weren't up to their quality and then again the next time around i just took a whole day just made some real nice looking images they're not the best but they're just a lot more professional looking and then my asset got accepted to the asset store pretty much right away. So again, just take your time, make sure everything looks good there. Now, another important thing to add in would be some audio or video. And then here you can just basically click the link for insert audio or video. And then here is where you'll put a link to your YouTube, your SoundCloud or whatever. And this will be the video or audio file that people will be able to play when they go to your actual asset store page. And then the final section in the metadata is just some screenshots here. Of course, again, just make sure you have some good looking professional screenshots that really show off um, what your asset is. All right, now here's the important part. So here's where you actually upload the asset package that you'd like. So instead of just uploading a regular Unity package to the asset store site like I thought you would, you have to download this uh, asset store tools. So if you click on this link here, it'll actually open up in the asset store Store. It's this uh, asset store tools and then you'll have to download this and open it up into unity Of course over in unity You can also access the asset store and download the asset store tools and import those into your project Now it should be noted that whichever version of unity you're using to upload That's going to be your minimum spec. So if you want the most users to use your assets uh, Definitely use the lowest possible version. It does say here to upload with 2017.4 LTS as your minimum compatible version. Um, and so that's what I'm on right now. I'm on 2017.4.33, but just remember to keep in mind whatever version of Unity you're using to upload with, that's gonna be your minimum compatible version. Now, before we go ahead and actually upload it, there's a couple things that we need to make sure that we have. One is some how-to documentation. How-to documentation is required and you need to detail how to use everything in your project. You know, every small little detail that you have that all needs to be covered in your how-to documentation. So again, take your time, make sure this, you know, looks professional, it's legible, there's correct grammar, and that it details how to use every single part of your Unity package. Because again, this is something that could be the difference between getting your asset accepted to the store and not accepted to the store. The one other thing that you also need is to have a demo scene. So I've set up this little demo scene here, which um, includes some 2D assets, some scripts, and of course the demo scene itself. So anyways, once you have all that and you have the asset store tools imported into your project, you'll now see the asset store tools up at the top here. All you do is click on package upload. And the first time it'll probably just have you log in with your Unity account. So you just use your regular username and password that you use to log into Unity with. And then here's where you can select a package. So here uh, you can see that there's the 2D camera screen box visualizer, which is my published package as well as this draft that we just created. So say if we wanted to um, upload it to this draft, you just click the select here. And then now it's gonna prompt you to select the root folder that your assets are sitting in. So mine is all sitting in this screen box tool here. So we'll click select folder. And if your package depends on any other dependencies, you can check mark this uh, include dependencies box. However, mine does not. If you'd like to validate your package, you can do that here. And it's basically just gonna go through uh, some regular checks so we can click the scan button here and so my asset package did pass the validation and you can see that it does things like um, it checks for a demo checks for prefabs um, just a bunch of regular basic things like that and then once you're all set you can just click the upload button and then it's going to actually export the package right here so you don't have to do any other package exportings or anything like that you'll see that it does give me this kind of temporary uh, screen box tool unity package, but we can just close out of this and you'll see that it's now uploading to the asset publisher portal So we'll just go ahead and let this finish off and then once that finishes We'll get a little message that says upload successful and it's been uh, successfully uploaded to the publisher portal 
So we can just go ahead and click OK there. And now we'll come back to the publisher portal. Uh, up at the top of the page, we'll just click refresh. And you'll see that we now have this package that was uploaded from Unity 2017.4.33. Again, that's what's going to be used as the minimum required version to run uh, your asset with. Anyways, once you do that, you can go ahead and click on the edit here. And then you can just answer a couple questions uh, about your project. So you just need to uh, make sure that you say, yes, it's going to build on any platforms without any issues and make sure you select all the ones that you have tested your asset with. And then it's also gonna ask you to confirm which versions of the Unity editor. Of course, I said the minimum version is 2017.4, so I can select pretty much all the above ones. Next, it's gonna ask you which render pipelines your asset's compatible with. Um, mine is compatible with all of them because it doesn't really interact with any of them. And then lastly, it's just gonna ask you if your package requires any other dependencies, uh, which mine does not. So you can go ahead and save those. And then once you have everything else set, you can go ahead and click on preview in asset store. Now mine's completely blank because I didn't upload any uh, images or videos, but they'll all display here. And then here's where the title and package description will be displayed. And then last thing to do to submit the package for approval, uh, just check the box for I own the rights to sell these assets. And if you want it to be automatically published, you can go ahead and select that as well and then just hit submit, and then it will submit your package for approval to the asset store. And approval times seem to vary a little bit. Uh, the first time that I submitted this asset to the asset store, um, it took them like two weeks to get back to me only to find out that I was rejected. Um, and then kind of some time passed and then I did some improvements to my asset and then made all the graphics really nice, uh, made some nice how-to documentation, made a good video explaining how to do everything. Again, just really took a lot of time to make sure everything was in real good shape. Once I had all that stuff set and uploaded and modified, I resubmitted and then like two days later, I heard that this tool was accepted to the asset store. And so that was very exciting. And I hope you all get to experience that as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you leave it a like. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos on game development. Of course, if you have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. But I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.